It's your boy Odin from host.promo. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing Solid Invoice, going over the software and every single thing you need to know. If you don't know what Solid Invoice is, it is a new open source software that helps you have a simple and elegant invoicing solution, okay? It's completely open source, supports multiple currencies, uh, you can easily manage clients, it has an API, and it supports many different payment types. And I'm gonna show you every single thing you need to know in this video. Uh, and this is a test installation. And if you would like to get an installation and set this up yourself, there's a link down below that will give you a $50 credit on DigitalOcean. Once you're on DigitalOcean and you're signed up, you can just click Create Droplet, then click Marketplace, and then come down here and you will see Solid Invoice. You click it and you simply launch your server and you can launch it on a $5 server with a $50 credit, okay? And there's nothing else you need to do to set it up. Once it's set up, it will look like this. Um, so you can see the dashboard here, how many active clients, pending quotes, outstanding invoices, and income received. And I'll go over the settings first, okay? So you can see what the settings are like. All right, so right here, you can set the company name, okay? And that will be right here. So for example, say host promo, we're gonna be doing invoices. We could change the company name and we could also add a logo, which will go right here. And we could set our currency, for example, to US dollar instead of Euro. And we could also set our contact details. And then we can click save. And you can see up here on the left side menu, it should update the company name. Boom, okay. Um, also, you can send quotes as well as invoices, okay? And in the settings, you can customize the email subject and you can also BCC, which sends a blind copy to your address. The invoice settings, the same thing. Um, if you wanna say new invoice host promo, uh, something like that, you could change the subject. On the email settings, you can set your from name and your from address. And you can set when you want the emails to send in HTML or text. And the other cool thing is they support a lot of different mailing types. So if you wanna use SendMail or Gmail or SMTP, you can easily set that up. Um, SMS, this is pretty cool. Uh, so in the notification settings down here, you can choose if you wanna get email notifications when someone pays an invoice, et cetera, et cetera. But you can also set up SMS notifications. So say a client pays, you can get a text to your number letting you know that the client paid, okay? Um, you can also set a really cool theme and change the design and feel of the application. For example, we'll go down and we will select black and then we'll click save and boom, it has now updated our theme, okay? And then notification features here, if a client's created or an invoice status has an update or a quote status has an update or someone made a payment, you can choose whether you want email notification or SMS, or you could even select both, okay? Now let me go ahead and show you what it's like to create an invoice and create a client, okay? We'll create a client first, and then we'll send the client the invoice. So we'll do John Doe, okay? And then for the contact info, we'll do John Doe, and then john at gmail.com. And then we could also set the business address here and then we can click save client, okay? Um, you can go here and you can go to list clients and you can see all your different clients and if you click one, it will bring up information about that client, how much money they owe you, how much money they've brought in. And on top of that, you can click create quote or create invoice, okay? So we'll create an invoice, okay? You can also set reoccurring invoices, which is pretty cool. So say you have a client you bill monthly, you can easily set that up. Um, and that is pretty awesome, okay? Uh, so we'll just do a simple invoice. We'll make it $200. You can set if you want to include a tax or not, the quantity, the description. Uh, we'll just do consulting services, okay? And then you can add some terms here. You can add some notes. You can also add some other items. You can save as draft or you can click save and send, okay? We'll click save and send and boom, you can see the invoice. Uh, you can see a link to pay it now. You can print out the invoice. The other pretty cool thing is you can also clone invoices. So say you have a similar invoice and you wanna bill it to another client, you can easily clone it and do that, okay? You can also create quotes um, to send somebody a quote, and this is pretty cool as well. 
So we'll just go ahead uh, and send a quote to John Doe. It looks very similar to create an invoice. Um, and we'll click save as draft and see what happens, okay? So this will save it. Oh, it says this value should not be blank. Put consulting for the description. Click save as draft. And boom, you can see it's, a, it's in draft mode. And so that, my friends, is how you set a quote as well as an invoice. Uh, I do want to show you a few other things, such as the payment methods, this solid invoice software supports. Um, so you can see here back on the dashboard, you can see we have an outstanding invoice, an active client. Um, so once you start sending out invoices, the dashboard starts looking a lot better and you can see a lot more. Okay, for payments, uh, if you click the payments, Thing in the menu you'll be able to see all the clients who paid whether the payment was suspended expired refunded it was successful um, if we go here and we click system in the menu you can also set tax rates um, and you can also add users okay so say you want to add a user uh, such as you know someone in your company who handles this such as an accountant you can easily do that and they have different roles as well you can click payment methods and they support a wide variety of payment methods which is really really good um, so you can see you can do credit cash bank transfer paypal express paypal pro uh, stripe checkout stripe js Klarna, Klarna, b2 bill offsite b2 bill direct authorize.net and even payx okay so how many payment methods is that? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so this supports thirteen different types of payment methods. So I really think this software is great. Um, I would highly recommend you click the link down below, which will give you that free trial. You can set it up. You can try it for yourself and see what it's like. I think Solid Invoice is going to be really big in the future and I'm very happy to be reviewing it on YouTube. I'm the first video that's covered this. So if you guys want to see more videos in the future of breaking cool new software that people haven't covered yet, then make sure to comment and subscribe and like this video. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day and also I encourage you to check out my website host.promo where you can come here and you can find the best web hosting companies and promotions going on. You can find where to get free trials, free domains, and information like that. And if you guys found this video helpful, then make sure to smash that thumbs up button and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. Peace out.